actually surprised how awake I am right now. So you guys saw I got up at like 3.03 I think it was. It's now 3.40. So it took me, took my slow ass a bit to get ready. But um, this morning's cocktail consists of the last of my Vasky, which is a non-stimulant pump inducer for those that ask. Helps get that blood flow go and bring out the veins. <clears throat> Barracuda, this is okay for females to take. Helps with leaning out, ladies. And I just got this in the mail, the Drop Factor and Powder Form in Mango. And it's pretty high caffeine, so I only took like a little less than a, a half a scoop. Mixed in there. Shitty scrub skin, shitty. And I am going to use this cryoderm again today. It's been not helping my back, but giving me at least temporary relief so that my workouts I can get through them and posing and stuff like that. So I'm going to put that on my lower back. And uh, I heard a snow plow go by, so not really impressed. Syracuse that it's still snowing out. Um, and get to the gym, get my fasted cardio done before I train, and uh, I'll take you through this crazy peak week. Ah! I'm over it. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. It's horrible. But. And I think I already took my snow brush out of my car for the winter. So that's stellar. Scraping with my hands then. What is up guys? It's now 3.40 and my work day is actually over, which is a little bit different for me. Um, work 7 to 3.30 today. Had a pretty good day at work. Nothing like too major came up, which was nice. It was pretty low stress, which is what I need this week. Um, funny though, I'm here sitting at the mall right now. I went out on my lunch break to go to the mall because the cravings have been like real, like today really bad I was like torturing myself going through Instagram well not trying to but like I swear all I follow are people who post pictures with like peanut butter in them and peanut butter companies and P28 and I like have been good about cravings until like the past I'd say like week and a half I, they started kicking in um, so today they were really bad and I just wanted to like go to the mall and get my mind off things and get like a big hot tea from Starbucks and I pull in and I didn't bring my wallet with me you guys like I just left and like just didn't even take my wallet I was like so heartbroken I started like digging through change in my car it wasn't gonna be enough so I decided to come back I'm gonna go in now get a hot tea and hopefully get my eyebrows threaded and then I'm off to the salon to have my the JJ waxed and my eyelash extensions done. So we're knocking a lot of shit out today on Monday. Starting the week strong, getting things done. Um, for anyone that does compete, I recommend getting the bikini wax at the beginning of the week because some of that wax can stay on there. You can't exfoliate right away. So you wanna have it done enough in advance before your tan is put on. Um, so yeah, I just recommend scheduling that and getting that done early. Um, the other thing I think why my cravings were so strong today is because I'm about to start my period. I've actually just kind of been having it for a while now, which is funny because most competitors like lose their periods Mm -mm, not this girl. I just get it like all the time. I don't know why I get lean and my body's like Let's go. Let's do this for like three weeks So I always plan on having my period on show day And I know some people like pick shows purposely that aren't gonna fall on that time But I would highly highly recommend Always bring some tampons with you because you never know and the second someone told me that I was like, shut up, that's so weird. Like, that that can't happen. I went in the bathroom and it happened. Like, I'm not even joking. Shit's, shit's weird, it just happens. So you never know, be prepared. And um, a couple things I wanna say about that is like, don't stress it. Like, the little bit of water you're gonna hold, 
it's honestly it's not gonna make that much of a difference so don't stress yourself out about it if you're gonna have your period the week of the show the day of the show it's one thing you can't control be happy you're having your period you're a healthy female it's good stuff so um, don't let that stress you out the other thing I was gonna say in terms of it being peak week um, you guys know I just had done that article for tigerfitness.com I'm building the bikini booty so check that one out if you haven't already however just posted today is my um, quick and simple go-to guide for bikini com uh, bikini competitors like a peak week kind of checklist of my to do's and what I recommend and I use this list every time I prep so very simple key points to kind of think of and have prepped for show day so very helpful for first-time competitors and maybe even helpful for those of you who um, aren't first-time competitors but like just need a list and want to be more organized go to the website you can even print it out keep it with you on show day and kind of use it to plan for your week so I am a list person I realize everything is computerized nowadays but for me there's like nothing like having a good old-fashioned list that you can cross shit off on see that you're getting things done that's just what kind of girl I am. Like in college, I loved having a planner and I'd put all my assignments and check it off because I was a dork and it kind of, it just helped keep me on track. That's how I roll. So, all right, I'm going to head in now. Hopefully get my tea now that I have my wallet. Get my eyebrows threaded. Giving you the people's eyebrow right there. Not very cute. And, uh, yeah, then we'll see you in a few. All right, eyebrows are done, threaded looking good they're not filled in I normally have to fill in my eyebrows because I have very thin eyebrows and I got myself a venti jumbo passion tango hot passion tango tea at Starbucks it's caffeine free it's tasty um, it's cold as balls out so I wanted something warm now we're off for my next two appointments let's go Monday night, it's now 6.30. This is probably the worst time to go to the gym. And I have to go to my other gym because the other one closes at seven. This one stays open later, but this one's way busier. So, kind of sucks, but what are you gonna do? Um, my appointments are all done. I'm waxed up. Eyelashes are touched up for show day. And now I'm gonna go train and then head home. It's now 8 o'clock and my workout is complete. I am gonna head home, which is about a 35 minute drive. Um, I have to say for like going into the gym feeling like, uh, not super excited to work out here. Um, I was in the locker room and some girl came up to me and she was so sweet. She was so excited. She was like, you're Kara! And just so enthusiastic and um, said she follows me and that I'm awesome. And that was just like super, that like made my night you don't understand. Like, I know sometimes people ask me like, do you get recognized a lot? I never do. Like at the Arnold I did quite a bit, but I just mean like in everyday life I don't. So to have someone like in the locker room be so excited to see me and tell me I motivate them. You made my night girl. I think your name was Chrissy, Chrissy, I don't know. I'm sorry, sorry. I'm not good with names. It's not you, girl. It's me. It's me. I'm not good with names. So anyways, I ended up having a great workout. So for how anxious I was and overwhelmed feeling going into today, today turned out to be a pretty great day, I have to say. Like, I don't know. My attitude just turned around or just realized, you know what, Kara? Shit's not that bad. <laughs> and decided to enjoy my day. So I actually have way more energy now than I did at work which isn't a good thing because I need to sleep tonight, but 
gonna head home, see the man, the boys, the puppy dog, and uh, probably see you when I get there. So I'm, I'm back home now, guys, and I'm too cold to take my coat off because I'm wearing my wet workout clothes. But I ordered some competition jewelry, so I thought I'd open that and show it to you real quick before we end this vlog. It's a little damaged goods right there. This is from Glam Competition Jewelry. I don't know why I had such a hard time picking out what I wanted. Oh god damn, I didn't know that was so big. Um, so I just got a basic, I think it's seven jewels across, a band, just a bracelet. I'm going to take it out of the bag or does it not matter? I don't know, I might wear this, it's kind of flashy. It's kind of fun. Don't look at my little sausage fingers right now, they don't look good. Fingers don't look cute. So that was the ring I got. And the earrings, let's see about these earrings. The earrings are called Fran Francesca. Yeah, I like those. They're kind of fun. They remind you of like a little octopus or something. Looks like squids. Squids. I don't know, I just wanted something different. If it was up to Jason, I would wear a hoop because he's basic. But I wanted something a little flashy, so I like those. So that will be my jewelry, I believe, for competition day. I do have some other stuff. Um, I'll probably bring all my stuff just to be safe because I won't put it on until I'm actually there. But yep, that was from Glam Competition Jewelry. Fairly affordable. I don't know, you can probably pick stuff up cheaper at like Kohl's or Target or something. But this is going to conclude the vlog for today. And I'm just going to get ready for bed. And can't wait to get up and eat breakfast tomorrow. Vlogging it all, I apologize. Um, it's like three o'clock right now, basically. Geez, what was the last clip I did? I don't even know, but I came home, I ate, I showered, and then I've just been doing client emails. Um, and then because we got the new MTS protein, I wanted to do a recipe for Mark's channel for Tiger Fitness. And so I was gonna do a Samoa's protein donut and so Jason just went to the grocery store while 